from Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yo, it's your boy, holla back. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Well, we talked about this possibility. And it looks like we were not wrong to think about this. Even though... You don't want to think about it. Many people have already thought about it. Many people already believe it will happen. Many people believe there's no other way. And uh, in case you have not heard this news, this from the Associated Press, federal agents have broken up a plot by two neo-Nazi skinheads to assassinate Barack Obama. Have you heard about this? And, as if it weren't enough to assassinate Obama, shoot or decapitate 102 black people. This according to the, uh, the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, which is now called the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Now, if you thought alcohol, tobacco, and firearms was a party, now we're rocking. It says here in court records unsealed today in U.S. District Court in Jackson, Tennessee. Federal agents said they disrupted plans to rob a gun store and target a predominantly African-American high school in a murder spree that was to begin in Tennessee. Agents said the skinheads did not identify the school by name. Jim Cavanaugh. Special agent in charge of ATF's Nashville field office said the two men planned to shoot 88 black people and decapitate another 14. How'd they come up with those numbers? No, I have it right here. <laughs> For some reason, the numbers 88 and 14 are symbolic in the white supremacist community. Why is that? And what Lister would admit to knowing. The man also sought to go on a national killing spree after the Tennessee murders with Obama as his final target, Kavanaugh told the Associated Press. Kavanaugh said that would be their last final act, that they would attempt to kill Senator Barack Obama. They didn't believe they would be able to do it, but that they would get killed trying. An Obama spokeswoman traveling with the senator in Pennsylvania had no immediate comment. The men are uh, Daniel Cowart, age 20, of Bells, Tennessee, and Paul Schlieselman, 18, probably bitter about having a name like Schlieselman. Paul Schlieselman, 18, of West Helena, Arkansas. They're being held without bond. Agents seized a rifle, a sawed-off shotgun, and three pistols from the men when they were arrested. Authorities allege the two men were preparing to break into a gun shop to steal more. Attorney Joe Bird, who has been hired to represent Cowart, did not immediately return a call seeking comment. Cowart and Schlieselman, or is that Schlieselman? are charged with possessing an unregistered firearm, conspiring to steal firearms from a federally licensed gun dealer, and threatening a candidate for president. It says here the investigation is continuing and more charges are possible, Kavanaugh said. The court records say Cowart and Schlesselman also bought, n bought nylon rope and ski masks to use in a robbery or home invasion to fund their spree, during which they allegedly planned to go from state to state and kill people. For the Obama plot, the legal documents show, Cowart and Schlesselman, quote, planned to drive their vehicle as fast as they could toward Obama, shooting at him from the windows. A lot of planning went into this. The court complaint states, both individuals stated they would dress in all-white tuxedos and wear top hats. During the assassination attempt, we gotta dress up for this. You gotta do this kind of thing, you gotta do it right. It says here, both individuals further stated that they knew, they knew they would and were willing to die during this attempt. 
Kavanaugh said there's no evidence so far that others were willing to assist Cowart and Schlesselman with the plot. He said authorities took the threats very seriously. They seem determined to do it, Kavanaugh said. Even if they were just to try it, it would be a trail of tears around the South. So we've talked about this possibility. We have speculated about this possibility. And now we actually have, according to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, we apparently uh, have evidence that somebody wanted to assassinate Barack Obama in the most bizarre way. What is your reaction to this? Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, uh, don't call about this anymore. Of course, every time I say don't call about something, you do. <laughs> um, 88. Why is the number 88 important to neo-Nazis? 8 is the eighth letter of the alphabet, which is H. Two eights is two H's, as in Heil Hitler. That's it. Got it? 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. And in case you're just joining us, this is a news story that is still developing. Uh, the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives has broken up a plot to assassinate Barack Obama and also to decapitate or shoot 102 black people. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Victor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay, Victor. Uh, I'm doing better. I uh, just uh, cleaned up my keyboard after you brought up the two white tuxedos. I had to spit when I was drinking all over my keyboard. That was one of the funniest things I've heard in a long time. Yes. Um, and also, um, the 14 words, I honestly don't know all of them, but it's something about creating a better world for our white children or some junk like that. Yeah. And uh, I honestly, I've been thinking about this a lot with Barack running. I mean, I'm not political. I've never registered to vote. I registered for the draft. I figured, hey, if I don't go to jail and I pay taxes and don't get arrested, I'm doing my job as an American. Um, also, I'm wondering how much more security we're going to need to have for Barack Obama compared to our normal, you know, Caucasian candidates. I'm sure, you know, which, you know, Squeaky Fromm didn't like and people like that. But, you know, how much is the security going to have to be beefed up? Yeah. And well, first of all, we don't know how beefed up it already is. Yeah. I mean, keep in mind, even Ronald Reagan was shot. Oh yeah, yeah. There's been there was two there's two attempts on Ford. That's right. And I mean, I just I don't I don't know. I I also think that this could be contrived. I mean, because if you, I mean, I watch the History Channel a lot, things like that. If you want, they had a thing on the Aryan Brotherhood last night. And if you watch these shows, these people they just want to make you vomit because they're doing the exact same thing they're complaining about every other quote mud race or whatever they say it's doing. And I don't give them that much credit. I mean, the biggest brain trust they have is, what, David Duke? You know, he's running for office, running around the hood, burning crosses. I mean... He's not running around the hood. He's wearing the hood. Yeah, or in a hood, I meant. But I just don't give these, quote, white supremacists. And, you know, it just it makes me mad being Caucasian. Although I'm Italian, Portuguese, and Catholic, I don't think they'd welcome me into their club. But, you know, I do wear, I've worn my black boots with my white laces since 1985, since I'm 15 years old. And I walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard, and I've even worked down at Avalon El Segundo Swap Me on Avalon and 131st. And no one said a darn word to me. You know, and if they want to, they can go ahead. But it's my choice to wear these boots to show everyone that I'm a working man, and then I'm white, and leave me alone. All right, Victor, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jim on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. I don't know. Like, There's no possible way that we couldn't have seen this happen or seen this coming. 
You know, I mean, well, like wait, 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 wait. We've been talking about that on this program, and I know others have been talking about it as well. Yeah, I know, but now it's getting real. Now it's actually it's actually here, and there's the, the first, uh, not I guess the first plot that's been foiled, but it's actually here now, you know? Well, you know, like, well wait a minute. It's the first one we know about. That's true. Who knows how many plots have been foiled or how many are being fomented right now that no one knows about yet? Then why would they leak this one out to us? I think they would probably be trying to let uh, those who uh, are are considering this know that they're on the case, uh, that they're catching people before they act, and maybe they ought to think twice before they, they make a plan like this. I imagine that's the reason. That's usually the reason why law enforcement authorities release this kind of information. Yeah, how do you think uh, Barack Obama's feeling right now? Do you think he's pretty scared right now? Like, how what do you think his mindset is well, right now? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, uh, but, you know, I, he's a very smart guy. He's 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 got to know that someone was going to try this. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Cool. Thank you, Tom. Hey, can you take me out a uh, noodle style? Noodle style? I forget that one. Well, noodles was the uh, the drunk was the drunk driving. Noodles was the guy who was the drunk driver, right? Yes, sir. Do we still have noodle style in there? It was called noodle style. I, I think that's before Art's time. No? We don't have it. Somehow it didn't make the transition when we left Westwood One for CBS. Noodle style. That was a good one, though. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Krista on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. First time caller. Thank Long you. Long time listener. Great. I love your show. I'm so upset about this thing with Obama. We finally have a decent candidate, and now they want to kill him off. Uh, well, uh, again, uh, think back in history. Uh, there have been other candidates or other people of note, other people of importance uh, who've been uh, knocked off or they've attempted to knock off. Martin Luther King, Robert Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, uh, you know, and then uh, other people also who were... Uh, I mean, for example, Ronald Reagan was shot while he was president. I know he was. And, you know, it's just we've got to stop doing things like this. We need a, a good candidate. We need a decent president. We need to fix up our country. And it's it's just it's terribly unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But uh, here's what is fortunate is that somebody was on the case and thwarted this attempt. Well, that, thank God for that. That's thank a good thing. He had enough smarts to pay attention to what's going on. You got to give the BATFE, is that what they're calling it now? Credit. <laughs> I give him plenty of credit. My husband works in law enforcement. There we go. Well, thank you very much, Tom. All right, Krista, thank you. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. Joseph on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Joseph. Hey, this is my first time calling you, but you know, uh, I have to call in on this one. Oh yeah, those guys you are talking about there, they're just seeing that their white superiority their white superiority complex is slipping away. So they wanna start some uh some kind of commotion or something. And those guys are not even smart enough to even, you know, make the thing I mean, they're stupid. How stupid can you be? Well, I think it is uh, pretty stupid. Uh, the, I mean, certainly the idea to wear white tuxedos and top hats in a car and start driving towards Obama. Come on. You know, that's not going to you know, that's not going to work. I, I, I know it's a lot of so-called white people who feel the same way that they do, but they won't. They, they're not that stupid to, uh, to get caught up in it like that. You know, they're. They're just, they'll be the ones that just sit back. Well, just and, remember, the stupid ones are the ones who get caught. Right, 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 exactly. There's probably someone much smarter than these two morons uh, who will get a lot further along in their plans before getting caught if they get caught at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, like I say, ignorance is, you know, that's ignorant for you to want to be racist or whatever, but that's, that's everybody. They have their own prerogative, but that goes to show how, how race races are just ignorant, man. Just blow me up. All right, peace. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, two neo-Nazi skinheads apparently uh, plotting to assassinate Senator Barack Obama. What do you think about that, Amanda, on the Tom Likas show? Hello. 
what do I think about that? Yeah. I think uh, they have a good purpose behind it. I don't do. feel that it's right. No, I don't feel that it's right you trying th- to take anybody else's life. But you think there's a good purpose behind it. What would that be? For for white people as a whole in the United States, okay? Um, I mean, I'm Well, I'm if, sorry if, if it is for white people... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. If it's for white people as a whole, yes. why, why are they voting for Barack Obama? No, but see, they think they're looking at other views, uh, other choices, opinions that Barack has that he says that he will do for these people. But the thing so is, so the white people are stupid. No, I'm not saying black people are stupid. No, You're white people. What I'm saying, no, Tom. white people see, are. Stupid. Why are why no, Barack no, 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 Obama no. cannot see, be? Think, wait a minute, Barack Obama cannot be president unless white people vote for him. If a majority, you, I, you're going to listen to me a little more here. Because I'm the host of the show and you're not the boss. The majority of people, uh, the, the majority of white people would have to vote for Barack Obama in order for him to become president of the United States. So why would they vote for him if it's not in their best interest? Because they're looking at it blindly. So they're stupid. No, I'm not saying that these people are stupid. What are you they're saying? trying they're trying to uh they're hoping for a new change. Yes they are. I mean everybody is in desperate times. And, and there I will be and there that. and there will be change. But see, that is also a time when people are in desperation. That's a time when they don't look at everything as a whole. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying mm. anything against black people as uh, I, I'm not being a racist. No, but I am not being, you. I am being, not I am you. being a concerned. You're not a racist. I am being a not you. white person, okay, for my safety, for my offspring's safety, because I am white. For your safety. I'm white American. What does your I safety, am, wait, wait, what, where, where did your safety come in here? College. Uh, where did your I, safety come in here? I have to work hard at it. I don't have to. All right, you're going to have to uh, answer this question before you continue blathering on. So again, I've, uh, I've put you on hold until you answer my question. Uh, where has safety come into this? Can you explain that to me, please? Because I feel that uh, safety-wise, with Barack becoming a president, I know that it seems to me that black people have, uh, well, obviously they have issues with white people. I mean, I understand. What does, have have what does this have to do with Barack Obama? What does this have to do with Barack Obama? But it's because he doesn't like white people. He doesn't you like see? white people? Can you give me an example of anything he's ever done or said? Anything. Well, com- one thing. That I've heard on the news. One, name even? one. Name one. Well, I remember what was it a few months Name ago. One. I remember hearing something about. Uh, I don't. I'm not exactly. I can't remember it. You can't remember word, any okay? comment. You I, cannot I, I remember mean, anything he said. You. I know you're trying to make me look stupid. Because no, it's very. It's not hard to make you look everything. stupid. You are stupid. No, I am not stupid. Oh, you're clearly stupid. No, um, I feel that uh, Barack Obama has mind. never ever said one thing, and never even been caught off mic saying one thing negative about white people ever, ever. Ever. Really? Really? Why? Then why? It, I, I specifically remember them saying I don't that care he what you... Views. He what? Yeah, it, I, He okay, what? Look, look, I... Okay, I call... I call he didn't I'm back sorry. Go. Zero tolerance policy, you yeah. filthy moron. You and your filthy mouth. And you're a racist and a bitch. One eight hundred five. Unbelievable. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Bill on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Wow, I wish you a bitch, man. Wow. I'm telling you. But uh, check this one out, Tom. Yeah. Uh, I think the reason why they they announced this just before the election is to sway the election because they probably think that uh, if Obama's going to be assassinated in the future. Some people might not vote for him and might vote for McCain and for, uh, for the other. But it could also have the opposite effect, that uh, people might believe that the kind of folks who support McCain would support skinheads. Right. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Well, look at the last caller who said that while she didn't agree with killing anyone, they had a good purpose. <laughs> well, they're a bunch of morons, man. It's hard to think like If a that's moron, the kind you know of person who supports McCain, if I were undecided, I would now be decided. Yeah, that's true. It's, it, it, it could work both ways, but these knuckleheads, uh, why, why else would they release this uh, information just before the uh, election like this? Because now is the time it was happening. Uh, you don't want to put that out just before the election. I think they had another agenda. 
whatever it might be. Well, uh, you know, I'm no fan of George W. Bush or the Republican Party. But even I don't believe that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ask for it by name, um, even I don't believe that they are that sophisticated to come up with some kind of dirty tricks to throw the election. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Those, the, the people working in government are mostly uh, not you can't, high on you can't even You can't even get your driver's license renewed. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, man, well, thanks. That's my point, man. Blow me up, man. Here you go, Bill. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Hayden on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Hayden. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Hey, um, I'm, this is the first time, long time. I'm pretty excited. Yes. Um, hey, I just want to say that uh, as a black president, I think that there are definitely going to be way more assassination attempts. There's so many crackers in America. I mean, I think it's almost inevitable that he will be assassinated. What do you think? I don't know that he will be assassinated. I think it would be safe to say that people will try, or people will get caught like this, trying to plan something like this. I don't think you can necessarily say he'll be assassinated. And I certainly uh, don't even want to be going around saying that, because uh, if people believe it's a foregone conclusion, eventually it could very well... Uh, the foregone conclusions generally become foregone conclusions. Right, right. Man, also... That lady that called a couple calls ago, she was insane. She, was, she, she uh, I think that um, it, it's just un-American if you go around assassinating. I mean, I, su I support uh, McCain, but I mean, even though you know George W. Bush had such a high unpopular rating and everything, it's not right to go around and like killing like you know people that you don't like, you know. Well, uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Obviously, John of the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Well, I was calling because I heard your topic, and, you know, I just thought these guys are, they sound just like some angry white kids, you know, just messing around. But, you know, someone with more experience actually plans this out might actually get a better shot at them than doing, at actually taking down Senator Obama than two 18-year-old kids. Well, again, um, don't think uh, there aren't people out there trying to figure out how to do that. I certainly believe that somebody will try to figure out how to do it. Um, I am hoping that law enforcement will thwart any attempt and will keep people like this far, far from public view. Well, yeah, but, you know, it's always, you know, 18-year-old kids can, that wasn't really nothing. The thing I agree with you, that they actually did release is just to influence people, like, this is what kind of people but I didn't are. say that. I don't believe that. In fact, I said the exact opposite. I believe it was released uh, to let people know who might be trying something like this, that the government is b b looking out uh, to, to make sure this doesn't happen, to try to thwart other people before they try to plot something like this. It's the same way right around April 15th every year, the IRS announces that they've nailed, you know, fill in the blank, Willie Nelson, Wesley Snipes, whatever celebrity for not paying taxes. Why do they release that information around April 15th? As a reminder, you better pay your taxes. Well, Tom, I think you're right. They did say this just to know that even if, even if they try, even 18 year old kids try it, we're going to take them down. So try and send a message out there to the big guys that if we can, if we're looking out for little guys, we're going to get the big people that are trying to do this too. Well, I hope that's true. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Jeff on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing today? Doing okay. Hey, you know I read a little bit about this story on, on the internet, and I think this uh, these white trash dudes are they're just ignorant. In fact, they're stupid. If they had half a brain, they wouldn't even got caught for pulling out this ridiculous plan. That was their first mistake. It, it, from what I read, it just sounded so sloppy and literally inconceivable that they wouldn't have even gotten halfway through with their plan. Uh, that being said, I'm sure that right now there's plenty of plots. People probably want to kill Bush. People probably want to kill McCain. This is just... Uh, that's just part of what it is when you get into politics. There's 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 a there's a cross here on everybody's head, and they know it. It's it's not going to deter them from running. It, it's a concern of every candidate, and it's a, a concern of every president. It doesn't mean he's going to get assassinated. It's highly unlikely. I mean, the the amount of of protection that these presidents have, 
it, it's very unlikely that something would ever get carried through. So for the ignorant people to say, oh, yeah, he's going to get shot, that's a guarantee, uh, that's just a bunch of malarkey. It, it's, it's not going to happen. Well, um, I hope it's not going to happen. Um, there's no way to know whether it will or won't happen, in my opinion. I hope it doesn't. I hope we do everything we can to make sure it doesn't. But uh, this is, of course, going to be troubling because uh, it's one thing to speculate about it. Here are two people who are trying to do it. one eight hundred five eight hundred tom That's our telephone number. Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Um, real quick, I was listening to your uh, topic today, and uh, it's all about color, you know, and it's, okay, what, what color is our president right now? What has he done for us the last eight years? Absolutely nothing. No one wants to mention that, do they? And the difference between humans and animals is we have a choice and it's just where our country has gone and it's gone to the dogs you know well um i wouldn't say our country's gone to the dogs it's certainly uh, in a very bad position right now and needs to uh, uh dig itself out of a big hole and uh it's my belief that uh mccain and bush uh, don't know how to do that yeah the one piece that can get us out of this you know is being prosecuted for 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 his color? I mean, is that all you have? I, I mean, you know, the, the, we need somebody who's not the current guys. Uh, the ABB party. Anybody but Bush. Yeah, you betcha, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Uh, wow, what a story today. Two neo-Nazi skinhead kids were plotting to assassinate Barack Obama. Tom like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. This the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Two neo-Nazi skinheads foiled in a plot to assassinate Barack Obama. Also part of their plot to shoot or decapitate 102 black people. Outrageous. What is your reaction to this? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yes, sir. How are you doing today? Doing great. Well, we heard some bad news today. Two of our, two of our boys went down. Two of your boys? Yeah. Who are they? Doing well, I don't know their names, but uh, their, their cause is good. You're talking about the two people plotting to assassinate Obama? Yes. And you know what? That, that's just the beginning. They're just young kids. They have no idea what they're doing. And the people that know what they're doing aren't going to talk about it, and they're not going to get caught. In, and hopefully more will try. Why would you, uh, why would you feel that way? I, uh, why would you want to assassinate anybody? This is the deal, man. You know what? I grew up in Southern California all my life. You know, I started hanging around with skinheads when I was 12 been around the block quite a few times. The backlash in the ghettos is going to be unheard of. All the all those all those blacks are going to be so ghetto proud. It's going to you, this is ho you know what, hopefully he is president because this will hopefully inspire the race wars. Hopefully our our next civil revolution will come about by him being president. I don't see what the big deal is. First of all, the guy is half white to begin with. And second yeah, of all, know, I don't just, see why you object. I don't get it. He's just he's just white enough for all the other whites to think. You know what? He, he he's he's not too dark. We could vote for him. You know that's what it is. That's the only reason he's getting a white vote. You know if he was if he was black like a burnt match, he wouldn't be getting as many white black votes. Black like a burnt too. match. I mean, come on, this is so prehistoric. It's so Neanderthal. It really no, is. No, no, no. It's really not. And you know what? Our country's been going downhill ever since we, ever since we freed the slaves. Ever was that since. when the was that when the problems began? I, I believe so. I really do. It was a golden age. I, you know, I, I don't. I don't believe that we need to, to bring you know slavery back or anything. But I do believe that people need to segregate themselves. I really do. Well, you, know, you got all this race mixing going on. You you have all these white kids running around with their pants hanging off their butts, acting like they're black. You know, it, it's so acceptable now. These are it's, the it, these are the problems that you see, and it all starts with our children. We got to segregate ourselves to protect our children, to keep our white race clean and pure. And and that is important. Why? So, what do you mean? Why? I'm asking. Look at look at look at look at the the, the way the things are today. 
You know, you can't even walk down the street without worrying about getting jumped by a bunch of Mexicans or, or a whole gaggle of really? black people. I, I really can't. Funny, I, maybe, I, maybe where, I don't maybe worry where, about where that. Hang out. Where I hang out, where do you think that is? I don't know, with, with all, all the rich folk. Rich guy. Oh, I see. So I, I hang out with all the rich folks. You know, you, why don't you try walking around the ghetto? Why don't you? Do you, do you I live in the ghetto, man. You do? Do you tell people that uh, you're a neo-Nazi or a skinhead or whatever you I want? I don't have to. I'm white with a bald head. I wear my boots. I wear my braces. I don't have to tell anybody. It's very apparent. Hang on a second, Greg. George, what did you want to say to Greg? What's up? Greg is an idiot, bro. He lives in Southern California. Does he realize that about 70% of us are from other races other than the white? You I don't know. know. I think and whose fault is that? that? That's your parents' fault, dude. Hey, dude, you know what? Your own daughter's going to sleep with a Mexican, just to let you know. And you probably walk into a Mexican restaurant and have, order tacos with no problem, no, don't I'm, you? I make, it a, I make it a point not to, dude. Not to? You walk around in your boots and you live in the in the ghetto. You probably live in the ghetto because you're uneducated, bro. What was your senior year, fifth grade? No, no, I graduated high school. You did? Well, wow. I sure did, buddy. Was it all white people? No, unfortunately it wasn't, dude. It wasn't? Well, that's too bad, bro. You're, you're obviously what I would call a nigger lover. Oh, you are? That's exactly what you are, buddy. You know what? <laughs> you have, you have Mexican, no pride in yourself, you dude. Know. You have no self-pride, dude. That's no self-pride. You, you want to so keep the white afraid. race? Why don't you, you move so to like Russia? You're proud of what you are that you'll accept them. And you know what? They don't accept you, dude. You might think, oh, yeah, this is a happy country and we all accept each other. But bottom line, nobody accepts anybody. You know what's right, though? I can at least get an education and not worry about that, bro. I can still live a good life here in the United States. And I live in Southern California. I'll tell you, I'm glad there's every race. Because there was a bunch of bald skinheads walking around. That'd be terrible, bro. Yeah, you would be afraid. You know what? I don't, I don't want everyone to be bald skinheads. As a matter of fact, all them young skinheads listening right now, you need to grow your hair, comb it nice, don't get tattoos, blend in. And you know what? A lot of us did. I personally didn't because I don't want to, but a lot of a lot of the guys that ran around with me, they're all sheriffs now. And you know what? That's the new crew. That's the new crew, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I feel bad for you, bro, because you're actually going to have to live you with shouldn't all You shouldn't feel people. bad for me. I'm very proud of myself. I'm you a, are, but I'm a successful you person. Deal, bro? Why do you live in the ghetto? Just out of curiosity. Southern California is a ghetto, dude. Unless you unless you have you know unless you make over a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand a year, you're in the ghetto, bro. Whoa. Well, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones, huh? Well, you I grew up be. in the ghetto and got out just to let you know by education, bro. And I'm a Mexican. Well, that's that, that's that's too bad. That's too bad. And Obama, you know what? I like some change, bro. We need a little change, dude. Now, what's sad is your daughter will probably end up with a black guy. Oh, you're no, I, I, I really you're going to have to live with it at 80 years old, and you're king, and you won't be able no, to do nothing. You know, it's, all, it's, about, it's about being proud of yourself and proud of your race. And, you know, when people are really proud of what they are, they don't do those things. You see, well, I'm proud of being American, bro, and Americans being No self-esteem, no self-esteem, they, they, start, they start mixing the races. Because they can't find someone within their own race. That's, that's sad you live that, in That's a life, shame. Man, but, but you're in Southern California, bro. Get used to it. There's more. Yeah, I've been here all my life. Races. I'm still not used to it. That's too bad. Why don't you move to like Germany or something then, bro? So you can be with all your supremacists. Germany, huh? Why don't, why don't you move to Mexico? You know what? You know, I you walk should. There. I, you know, I, we I all, we all to get together Mexico. at the border. We all get together on the border every weekend to kind of kind of shut things down ourselves. Why don't you come down there and help? That's see, how, sweet, see, how, bro. see how well you're accepted. You know what's funny? I can walk to we'll Mexico. We'll throw your ass over the <laughs> we'll, we'll just take you and throw you right over the fence. Well, when your uh, when your daughter dates that black guy, and you're 80 years old and can't do nothing about it. You'll find out it's all changing. Bro. You know, as long as, as, long as I'm pregnancy. able to pull the trigger, I'll definitely be able to do something about it. Yeah, but you'll be too old to do it, bro. But so, you know, I don't have to worry about son. that because, like I said, my daughter's proud. Your daughter's proud. Yeah, wait till she meets the black guy, bro, or Mexican. Why and you'll that? find out that you'll be on you'll be on you'll be on Jerry Springer next time, bro, saying, Why is my daughter dating a black guy? No, it never happened, dude. Dude, if you're in Southern California, most likely that she's gonna date somebody outside your race, bro. No way. Unless you lock her up and cage her up, bro. No, you don't you don't have to lock them up or cage them up or, or, or give them all kinds of parameters of, of what they have to exist in. You just have to give them pride. Give them a sense of self pride. Let me and you get... do that by raising them right and raising them white. We got another George here for Greg. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. 
Yeah, man, this guy's a moron. I don't know who he thinks he is. He thinks white people are, is the best thing in the world. Man, this country was made on Mexican people made this country. Not yeah, white people. really? The Mexicans made this world? Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, and who's the minority right now? You know, it, it, All right, that's enough. We have a zero tolerance policy here. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. It's the Tom Likas like show. show. It's the Tom Likas show from Hollywood. That 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Nick. Come on, Rocky guys. Nick. Yeah, how's it going? All right, we're on the radio, you and me, Nick. Hey, um, okay, first of all, about the last call, you know, the knocking, I just think it's kind of ridiculous. My, like, me, myself, I'm 20 years old. You know, I grew up in a small town called Chino. I've had friends who were even neo-Nazis, and I, myself, am an African-American male. And you know what? I just think it's ludicrous. I've even talked to some of them, and they think it's ludicrous because I've reformed them to not be Nazis and hating other races. I mean, I've dated, you know, Indian girls, Jewish girls. All types of girls, and I just think this whole idea of racism now is just stupid. Like it should have been extinct. It should be extinct like the dinosaurs. Okay. Uh, I think this phone should be extinct like the dinosaurs. In fact, I think it is extinct. I agree with your sentiment. I don't know about your phone. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, this is Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. All right, dude, I got some, about this whole race thing, I don't know, it's, it's out of control. That's all I have to say about that. But I've been listening to you for a very, very long time, and you're so going, you always talk about the right-wing wackos. You're the left-wing wacko. I, in what way am I left-wing? I'm listening. Well, just the whole, the whole thing with you coming out on McCain about a couple of days ago, you were talking about, your friend from the Inquirer about... Uh, yeah, Mike Walker. Mm -hmm. What about him? Yeah, just the whole thing with uh, Joe the Plumber and how you... That makes, me, uh, that makes me left-wing? No, it doesn't make you left... But just how well, you just so said that. I, I, want you to, to, I want you to prove it. Okay, well, you're just on the whole train with Barack Obama. That, yeah. how did, well, Colin Powell is, too. Does that make him a liberal? No, but how can you be for socialism? I'm not for socialism. I'm for Barack Obama. He's socialism. He wants to spread the wealth. No, world. he is not socialism. You are wrong. And uh, is is uh, Colin Powell a socialist? No, do you know I, I actually like Colin Powell. Well, he's supporting Barack Obama. I do. Un I do understand. Well, why am I a socialist or a liberal and not him? Well, you're just so on the train. You're the yep. same. You know what? You're the same guy who calls and makes these prank calls all the time. You're the guy who said you're going to throw your radio out the window and stuff. That's you, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's you. I know your voice. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Alex is listening to our show online from Seattle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alex. You know, I keep hearing these uh, people on here saying that black folks all hate white folks. And, I mean, you know, honestly, I, I think people like that kind of give other people a reason to hate white folks. I mean, it's it's like, you know, the, that guy gets up there and he talks about all this crap, but it's, it's like so much hate and all that stuff. It, it just, I don't know, I was just sitting there kind of thinking like, you know, I'm... I'm, I don't think all black people are all... I mean, well, I, I by the way, the caller this hour, and people have said that in the past, but in this hour, the caller said that Barack Obama said he hates white people and then was never, of course, able to produce one instance where he ever said any such thing. I mean, his mother was a white person. I know, seriously. And, like, I, I even saw a clip where they had these people and one of them said, oh, yeah, I don't like Barack Obama. He thinks we're all white trash. And then the guy presenting the clip said, well, you know, people like you, I think you're white trash, too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But come on. Uh, you know, the morons now, especially now they're getting desperate because a black man is about to take command. Uh, yeah, really. th that you can hear how desperate they're getting, the desperation in their voices, the desperation of the McCain campaign and their desperate commercials and their desperate comments about Obama. And it's like, 
what do they think is going to happen? I mean, what do they think, like, suddenly all the black people are just going to walk around and, like, all the white people are suddenly going to have to do, like, everything that the black people say? I mean, it's, it's like, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, what, what do they think is going to happen? Nobody ever answers that. Good point, Alex. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Tim on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Well, I just want to call in and comment about the whole Barack and uh, McCain uh, election. Um, you know, I'm, I'm myself, I really don't care for, for associating with other races and whatnot. Why not? Um uh, just the way I was raised, but in this case... Uh, Why do you live in Southern California? Uh, actually, I originally grew up in uh, Casper, Wyoming, and I ended up out here for work, and, and uh, I like maybe it. You, I, maybe you should go back. Huh? Maybe you should go back. Well, I was thinking about doing that here in a few years, but uh, but aside from that... So you like our money in Southern California, you just don't like our other races. Right, exactly right. I'm just here for the money. I see. But uh, as far as Barack goes, uh, you know what? I, I got to support him in this case. I mean, like I said, it, you know, it, it wouldn't be my first choice because he's black. But I look at the other options, and you know, here we had Bush in office for for uh, a couple of years now, and he's just been squandering everything away. And then, and McCain's openly admitted that you know he he pretty much uh, was with Bush. You know, I think in one of his commercials he even said, you know, I I. I voted with Bush, you know, over 90% of the time, more than my own Republican parties. And and then, uh, you know, I'm, I've heard uh, you brought up he was part of the Keating Five, and, and you know, I look at the banking situation when I, with with McCain, and it's like, well, you know, do, do we really want someone digging us a deeper pit than we're already in, or do we want someone that's going to possibly change it, you know? So in, in that case, I mean, the only intelligent way to go is I really don't know exactly what Barack Obama's about. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, he intends on raising taxes for anyone who makes over 250000 a year, and, you know, one way or the other, we got to raise some taxes to, to get ourselves out of this debt. I mean, the, the debt's so big now, I mean, it's almost like... Let me you ask know, you a theoretical question. If if Barack Obama wins and he managed to invite you to the White House, would you not go? I, I think I'd go. I mean, I'd love to see the White House. I mean, well, but you just said you don't like associating with people of other races. It's not it's not my preference. I have had a couple black friends in the past, and you know, I've I, I grew up well, that's when, when, very white. Up. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.